Hey everybody, it's File Under Action. We are back representing the Wraith unit. We're playing some more Banner Saga. We uh, are being, we are under siege by Dredge. I guess on the other half of the map. Um, and I'm playing as Rook and, oh, I forget the girl's name. But anyways, we're, this little town or this little encampment is under siege by Dredge. So you can see him here and here and here and here and here. So we're gonna see what we can, uh, what we can do about it. Sure enough, Dredge are gathering a number. Fear threatens to bubble over into panic. How long do we need to keep this up, you ask? Ivor shakes his head unknowingly. That's a bad sign. I got the sniffles today. Turn order. Units move in the order you place them from left to right. This initiative order is very important when setting up strategies. For example, put archers after melee units so that they can stay safe behind your heavy hitters. Drag the unit icons to rearrange their turn order. Okay. I believe these two are archers, so we'll just put them up front. These two. Put the there. Yeah, we'll do that. Items. Lovingly made by a hunter's wife to keep her daughter safe from harm. Let's go back. Put that on her. Yes. One armor, one strength, one will. By selecting an enemy in a straight line up to five tiles that you guys shoots through every character in the way, doing normal strength to damage to each, in addition to bonus armor break and puncture damage. Thread the needle is one of the few abilities that can damage multiple enemies in a single shot, making it extremely powerful in the right hands. Even though it also hits allies, some abilities like the Raid Master Stonewall make a good combination. Okay. By marking this target, the hunter does a small down of armor, small amount of armor damage, and is able to focus the attacks of his entire team on a single enemy. Any allies in range of the victim get a free instant attack on the marked target. Oh, that's cool. When set up smartly, mark prey can be one of the most powerful tactics available to the party, and the difference between victory and impossible battle. Okay, cool. Superior dexterity move around bodies, allowing them to pass through but not stop on it any allies. Lightstep can help a crafty landsman get safely into position behind armored allies before going in for the strike or escape from a dangerous position. Did she have one? Yes. By standing still, the archer is able to line up a shot that takes advantage of an enemy's missing armor. Doing bonus damage. For every two points of armor her target has lost, the archer gains one additional strength to her attack, as long as she didn't move beforehand. This makes her especially deadly near the end of a fight or against tough opponents who have lost a lot of armor. Just remember not to move, giving the archer time to line up her shot. Okay, that's cool. A like. Battering ram. The strong arm sm smashes into an enemy or ally, knocking them back up to four tiles and pushes them through anyone in the way. Battering ram does armor break damage and adds one more break damage to the target for each unit they pass through. That's cool. The ability can be used on both friend or foe, making it versatile in many situations. So I can knock back my team if I want them to move really quick. Uh, character who attacks the shield banger. Uh, raid master. The raid master braces for impact with his heavy shield, resisting damage from each strike for the next turn. Each hit the raid master takes to either strength or armor is reduced, preventing him from taking permanent damage to either. The raid master can use Stonewall to rush into a group of enemies and gain a forward advantage or step in the way of a powerful enemy to block his movement with impunity. Shield wall. By standing next to an ally, the raider creates a shield wall, raising the armor of both him and himself and his ally by one. This bonus remains until the raider is no longer adjacent to the ally. When multiple raiders stand next to each other, this effect is magnified as they grant each other their own bonus. Four raiders standing in a square formation will gain an additional four armor. That's cool. All right, that's everybody. Here we go. Um. Sure, let's do that. Ready.
Okay. Stone wall. stay here. I kind of made a mistake there. All right, you. Get back, dick. Okay, what's his... No, no. So that should give you adjacent armor. So I'm gonna go there. And then we'll do stone wall. Okay, I resisted that. And you. Do one damage to you. A 90% chance that, that, that that's gonna miss. Attack. Are you not adjacent? So I can move here.
I not have any ar uh, will willpower? Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll just do it right there. Okay, that's not good. No, no, no. It's two damage. Seven damage, eight damage. No, that's not what I wanted! God damn it! Freaking misclicks. Okay, resisted that. She has a move, so she gets a boost to attack, so she's gonna kill him. <laughs> Defeat an enemy with an eagle eye. Tempered by blood, pain, and resolve. Okay. Alette is ready. And the eagle. Ivor has been injured. Blech. Cool. Combat can be unforgiving. Don't hesitate to change the difficulty of battle if it leaves you frustrated or you find yourself needing a tougher challenge. Use the options menu to change difficulty. Don't, don't worry, you can change it at any time. No effect on the story or choices. <coughs> a black horde is forming at the tree line. Enough of this, says Ivor, glancing over his shoulder. We're going back. Then adds, Rook, I'm doing one more check of the houses around here to see if you can find anyone. As you turn to head back, a colossus appears out around the side of a house that silently looms over Alette, its face an expressionless stony mass, more terrifying than any roar it may have produced. Time seems as slow as it pulls back its enormous mace. You scream. She snaps to attention, confused, but does not dive out of harm's way as you had imagined in her head. Suddenly, Eagle is between the dredge and Alette, his shield above him. The black stone mace falls. Eagle's shield crumples, and so does the boy beneath it. A moment later, Ivor is there, his sword run through the neck of the dredge. Oh, no! He's gone, says Ivor, looking over the boy's shattered skull. A let grasp her hand, gasp her hands to her mouth. I'm checking the other houses. See if you can find anyone, and then meet me at the Great Hall. Mark it. Oh, so I can buy these with Renown?
kind of want that, but you need to be level 3 to equip it. Oh, I bought it. Okay. <laughs> I meant to move over to cancel, but I bought it, so there we go. I don't know if I need that or not, so we'll, we'll leave. Let's mark it. Let's go to heroes. Items are shown at the bottom of the roster. Drag items to equip them. Items can only be equipped by character of equal rank. Promote your units to keep to equip higher rank items. Okay. Okay, she's. I can promote her. Promote. Continue. Yes. Two points. Exertion. Right. Armor break. I think I want to do the armor break. And. That one, sure. Can't promote him. So, renown is something you spend. Minus three strength in battle, rest in camp to heal. Okay. You find anyone? A few sent them inside. Gods, this is bad. About Gil. It was my fault. He was a good fighter for his age. No family. I thought I'd forgotten what it's like facing a dredge. Facing a dredge. I'm out of practice, Rook. Look, as long as I've known you, you've always wormed your way out of talk talking about dredge. This would be the time to start talking. I can tell you they rarely stop for rest. The sooner we leave, the better. They'll follow us until we're tripping over tired women and children, then they'll attack. Even after we're wiped out, they'll keep coming, trampling corpses in their wake. There's no end to them. How did anyone survive the Great Wars? Ask the menders I wasn't there. But I know you've fought your fair share. Yeah, I've killed enough slag for one lifetime. That's why you're going to save us now. Don't lay that on me. Come on, let's get inside. All right, I've been to the market, the great hall, or the market and the heroes. Now we go to the great hall. Rook, thank the gods you made it. The great hall is an utter din, uh, filled as it is with dozens of terrified families. Don't stop worrying yet. I haven't. What's in the depth? What in the depths is going on? Dredge milling around, ransacking houses. Chieftain's wife finds you pushing through the crowd. They must know we're here. Why haven't they attacked? Don't know. I wouldn't expect it to last. I've made some decisions. But tell me straight, what would you do? What would you both do in my place? I'd have left by now. They're already outside the doors. Not so easily done, Rook. Rook. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. The chieftain sighs a deep and heavy breath slumping. He looks years older. Imagine, I imagine us fighting back and saving the town, but nonsense. Ivor's right, of course. We can't just wait to be slaughtered. Where do we go? If Dredger coming down from the north, Frostveller to the west, it's close and it has walls. I intend to be free of Skogger in one push. Nobody left behind. I wouldn't. If they follow us, we're done. What do you suggest? Let me create a distraction, then go. I'll catch up on the road to Frostveller. That sounds like suicide. Let's do as the chieftain said. Ivor's right. I'll help with the distraction. What if we set the town on fire as we left? Do we abandon the storehouse? Oh, goodness. I'll help with the distraction. The chieftain thinks for a long moment. I didn't ask for advice just to ignore it. Promise you're not throwing away your lives on this. That wasn't part of my plan. Ivor? Nope. Then I'm coming with you. That catches you by surprise. The chieftain rubs his chin but doesn't argue. From the training she's given Alette, you've no doubt she can handle a bow. Fine, I'll get the townspeople ready. Make your move, Ivor. We'll leave when you're clear. A 
Alette finds you before you have a chance to find her. I know what you're doing. You have to let me come with you. Don't leave me, please. I'll be good. Okay, just promise to listen. I promise, she says. Ivor soon finds you both. Let's go. Remember, we're not trying to fight them all. We're just getting their attention. You step into the town courtyard where you can already see dredge in every direction. Ivor starts banging his shield and swearing the at them. We kill a few and the rest will follow. You steal yourself for the for a tough fight. He's hurt. Minus three strength. But I do have her. Chieftain of Skogger was considered one of the luckier men in town when he wooed the beautiful daughter of a well-known fighter. These days, most people consider him a lucky man for marrying someone who knows how to run a town. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lol. Reign of Arrows. The Sky Striker. That's cool. The Sky Striker secretly selects an occupied tile on the board and fires up to three arrows in the air. If any enemy passes through the selected tile, they are hit by the following arrow, doing normal strength damage and stopping them in their tracks, ending their turn. That's cool. Reign of Arrows can be used offensively, defensively to protect allies, and in general is most effective when forcing an opponent to second guess his actions. Smart use of the ability can potentially lock down an entire team. So rank one is one arrow, rank two is two arrows plus one strength to the second, and rank three is three arrows plus two strength to the third. That's cool. Puncture, that's standing still. Okay, that's cool. All right, here we go. Poor eagle. I feel like no matter what decision I would have made, oh. Actually, I think I'm okay with that. gonna hurt. Ow! Good night. So we're gonna give her that. Take your armor down. Let's do it again. That 
That's his last willpower. Deflected that. Let's do this. Okay. Damn, Rook. You have no problem getting the dredge to follow the things begin to look dicey, but you're eventually able to lose them in the thick woods where they have difficulty keeping up. You climb to an overlook and wait for the caravan, caravan to appear. An hour later, Odal Oddleaf is the first to spot them there. She points to the road. As you rejoin them, you can tell there was no trouble. There was trouble. Some people wounded, others missing. Ugh. A group is gathered at the rear of the caravan. Oddleaf walks beside a covered figure in the open wagon. Old fool, she says through clenched teeth. I should have stayed with him. The chieftain's death hits you like a blow to the gut. You continue on your frost veller in silence. A let's hand firmly in your own. Pausing to catch your breath, you glance backward to see the caravan stretched out past the point of safety. They're spaced out so far you're unable to see those bringing up the rear. We've got to pull them together. It'd be dangerous to stop at, until at least the god's zone. The path should be just ahead. Call for an early stop. Slow the pace. Uh, let's rally if we can. You make your way to the rear and hoist a small child onto your shoulders. Fight for every step. Remember those who didn't make it and push onwards. The clansmen see your effort and follow suit, pushing themselves harder. There we go. We made it.
Far enough for today, I think. After a day of misery, men and women drop their meager possessions beneath the godstone of her, uh, whatever. That thing. What are we doing? We just left our homes because suddenly they were, they were dredge. Chieftain did what I suggested and look what he got for it. Look at these people. Somebody has to hold them together. That's you, Rook. How am I supposed to do that? What if, what do we do if we run into more dredge? But you're the dredge killer around here. Lie. Tell them everything's going to be alright. Gods, Rook. I don't know. Pretend you know what you're doing. That's what the rest of us do. Thanks for the advice. Then do whatever you want. Let them fend for themselves if you can live with it. You humans are absurd, Rook. Furious when you're not in control, terrified when you are. Pull it together. You're right. Think of how I feel. I'm stuck nursing a bunch of weaklings. You do care. I can tell. Feh. Men are a plague on the world worse than any dredge, as far as I can tell. Chats like this are why we get along so well, Ivor. Okay, cool. You sleep poorly, the sun forever stuck to an eternally bright sky. Before the others rise, you find yourself staring over long, low hills covered in pine. The godstone looms overhead, the massive eyes of Hla looking the same direction as you. Inspect the stone, get ready to move on. The weathered stone doesn't see many visitors, not much reason to travel so far east. When hunters come through, they sometimes stop to give offerings out of habit more than anything else. Now that the gods are dead, oh. The Dva was the god of hunters and of wild beasts, occasionally seen roaming the land as both man and wolf. He was always depicted in effigy with his terrible spear. You wonder what he'd think about the woods being full of dredge now. A young girl from the caravan approaches you. I made this for you, she says, handing you a crude necklace carved from a branch she must have found nearby. Thank you for saving my mama, she says before running back to her tent. Back of your tent, you rouse Alette, who clings to your arm until she's completely awake. Bad dreams. Eventually, the camp is broken down, and it's time to move on to Frostveller. It feels like an end more than a start. Yarkin Rune. got four days worth of supplies. Caravan halts when a group of men appear on the trail, weapons at their feet. We've seen the dredge in your wake. We don't wish to meet them alone. If you let us join you, we'll show you a watering hole with enough animals to fill those supply wagons. An inherent fear of strangers raises from the caravan. What are you doing out here alone? We were hunting for here for food when the dredge found our village when we returned okay if you'll be no trouble come along the men cautiously join the ranks and prove trustworthy the hidden watering hole is nearby nearby is teeming with animals and soon your supplies are nicely restocked okay cool and we got more fighters During a rest, one of the men get too drunk and end up splashing meat in a warrior's face. A brawl erupts, mainly thrown, many thrown fists and broken bone later. The instigator, Rathensparter, is tossed to the ground at your feet. Angry clansmen looking for satisfaction. His personal defense is little more than drooling mumbles. Um, oh god, I gotta make decisions. Let's take a, make a public apology. Force him to look at the crowd. Apologize for this mess, you man. The man babbles until you squeeze harder. Sorry, he yells repeatedly, even after you let him go. Folks shake, shake their heads, but leave the man alone. Let's, uh... I don't know how long we're going, so let's, uh, let's camp out. Rest, training heroes, leave. Let's rest and heal up. And then let's go. Caravan is visibly relieved to find a small village on the way to Frostveller with beds and fresh supplies. The locals here are shocked by the news you bring and discuss it among themselves while you set up nearby. Oh, well. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to hit a village right then. Alright, this seems like a good place to stop, so we'll catch you guys on the next episode.